the portable drill right here. I'm going to guess that a lot of you have this at home. How many of you do? Okay. Probably the most common machine that uh, people have in their garage. I've got one of these at home too. This is a corded drill, not a cordless. Uh, your number one priority. Okay, it's not even on this test. It should be the number one priority is to take care of this cord. Uh, if we accidentally drill into this thing, if we kind of cut through the insulation, uh, we are definitely getting electrocuted and going to the hospital. Yeah, that is a big deal. Okay, so step one is to keep this out of our way. Um, I choose to pin it down with my free hand here, my spare hand. Here we go. Watch, watch the speed I use. So I'm going to hold this board anyways when I'm drilling, so I just put it under there. Uh, if you're not comfortable with that, if that's too much to worry about, your next best option would be to put it behind your back. So I'm right-handed, so I went from my left around to my right. And that's probably even better than what I did before. Okay. So you decide what works best for you. Okay. Next thing, let's take a look at the trigger on here. Okay, this is not quite like the trigger over there on the miter saw. It is a variable speed trigger, which means you, if you ease the trigger on like this, back you squeeze or hard you squeeze, the back will go. Okay, top speed sounds like this. Okay, it's pretty rare that we're going to need top speed. We'll probably use about half speed. So if you need to practice, feel free to practice up here in the air and kind of get used to what this does. Okay, that'd be a good idea. And now for actually drilling for real. Okay, pay attention to kind of how the, the how I speed up and kind of my movement here. Kind of ease it on. Speed up. Okay, I don't speed up until I see that sawdust built up right there. Okay, slowly speed up. Okay, the reason for that is if I go right to top speed right away. By that time, I've missed my, my spot terribly. Okay, we're going to measure and drill in exact locations. Okay, that's an easy way to miss, miss your spot. And you can drill all day, and it will not go through. When you start, but that's as far as we get, it starts to burn the board. Okay, so if, you're, if you can't figure out why you can't drill a hole, try that, and you're good to go again. All right, any questions? Slowly turn it on, get it going. I am pushing down and pulling up. Okay, it's not just the weight of the drill there. Okay, I am actually pushing down with my arm now. One more time. Okay, quite often.